first 18 holes in an extremely long time. And to punish myself even further, I decided to make up a 500 pound bag to take out, review, hit, and then show you guys. Let's do it. Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon down here at Sanford Springs Golf Club. Very nice to go and play with the boys today. It's been a very long time since I even played 18 holes or played as a four ball match, which was very good. However, Craig, my playing partner, didn't quite know that. I wasn't even bringing my clubs, but I was bringing a lot of my stock out of the cupboard, kitchen, hallway, boot, to make up a 500 pound bargain set of clubs of different variety for different people and we'll obviously talk about those now as i've gone out i've played with them i've got a few thoughts some of my absolute favorites and great deal some i've kind of go steer away from but that's because of the time of the year and the way i was playing because let's be honest i haven't been playing that much and a lot of these clubs are very unforgiving let's show you the bag so before i show you some of the shots from the round it's not going to be a proper course vlog as i do feel that's quite static for this kind of video i'll talk about each club and how good or bad i actually hit it but it's nice to get out and it was quite wet on the golf course today so some of these clubs didn't perform or i should have made better choices in my selection as we have got quite a few clubs at home and this is definitely a feature i could do most of a it means i get to go and play golf which is ideal but also it shows you guys different kind of clubs in a very quick format wedges at the bottom here i never recommend taking out three different wedges however i don't have a full wedge set at home so we've got a 50 degree r series tailor made wedge 60 degree sm5 and a cleveland 54 however today was good because i only use this literally didn't use these two it's wet it's winter i wanted something with confidence i wanted something with a bit more bounce and this was the bad boy that provided that i hit some lovely wedge shots and i'll show you those in a minute so these two were pretty much obsolete when i'm not playing that much i only use one wedge because there's one constant the loft stays the same therefore the distance is always or power club head speed is then the difference in how far the ball actually goes if you're mixing lofts at the same time it's great in the summer when you need more spin grit whatever but this time of year i'm not being funny it's going to land like a brick from any club why i chose these today i have no idea that hasn't been touched at all that hasn't been touched at all like on a cold winter's day when it's wet these aren't the clubs you want to take out onto the golf course i had a choice between these or cavity back like m2s or other clubs at home i don't know why i just didn't bring the game improvement like cast iron clubs but first thing in the morning obviously was like yeah they'll be good to take out they'll make good for content for the video MP, Missouri Nut Irons, it's a completely different ball game to the winter than it is in the summer. In the summer, I can dig down, bury them into the ground, get a nice bit of spin, try and flight the ball. When it's as wet as it is today, I'll show you some footage of how wet it is. All confidence. I'm trying to like pick these clean. My hands hurt. Confidence was down. Not the best way to go for Simon on the irons, even though actually I hit them quite well, but they didn't feel good out of the toe, the heel. I definitely didn't hit many of them at the middle. Up to the big sticks. Great bargain. I only hit this once, but caught it quite well. I don't, I'm not a three wood player, but overall XR as a three wood, I highly recommend. And a lot of you guys really don't need adjustability in your three woods. So this is something I'd recommend around the 70, 80 pound mark. Ben, one of my lessons watches the channel donated not only this but this as well burner super fast tp 8.5 in black looks unbelievable performed in terms of distance very well just doesn't feel like a modern day driver though which will off put people and definitely off put me which i'll talk about in a minute as well radius putter at the bottom of the bag as that was one of the only putters that i've still got left in stock again don't swap your putter out for anything <laughs> There's probably one club I would say in the bag that you cannot trade for anything and is a putter And even though I love the looks feels and everything else when you're trying to hold putts and you need confidence And that's all your putter is confidence boosting don't swap your putter out and that was a big mistake for me today Followed by this tailor-made rescue old school. It's got this graphite black tie shaft in it So we're talking like a 1990s hybrid with a 2018 shaft in it interesting combination again i'll let you know how that gets on okay let's see some shots let's talk about them around let's see what were good and what weren't 
Right, let's start at the top end of the bag. TaylorMade super fast driver, Callaway XR, and then that hybrid behind it. If you can call it a hybrid driver, once I got used to it, the feeling weight in, I ripped this bad boy. We obviously played the back nine as well. I'll show you some of the drives on the front nine. I only feel the front nine because I didn't want to hold up the guys, and they're obviously very accommodating for me actually getting the footage that I did. Driver-wise, ball speed, it hasn't changed. And if that has changed over the years, launch and spin are your two best friends when it comes to distance. And this driver just didn't have the launch and spin factor for me. It just spun too much. As well as it's a very hollow sound, the old drivers. They just sound like tin cans. And even though that doesn't necessarily translate to forgiveness or distance or whatever, it just doesn't fill you with confidence. And every time I stood over it, I didn't feel like I was going to hit it down the middle, as I probably would with my normal driver that I'd hit on any other day that being said for 80 odd pounds which i've seen these listed and i'll show you a few prices at the moment it's a good performing 430 driver because it's tp version but there's other drivers out there it looks the part it doesn't sound the part but in terms of performance it's going to give you everything you want and if you want a tailor-made driver at the top of the bag that's not going to cost you an arm and a leg then for most beginners intermediates i can't see it necessarily being a bad choice now the callaway xr as i said at the start of this video is a great option again if you want a three wood that's forgiving going to give you the raw power distance i only hit it once I've hit XRs a lot and again they're holding their price very well in the second hand market and it's because that they stand the test time people just aren't getting them out of the bag the reason that clubs drop in price is because everyone puts them in the bag and then wants to get rid of them there's not many out there but at the same time if you can get your hands on even a 2016 model or earlier it's going to perform just as well as most of the three woods or fixed head three woods that you would see and as I say unless you're in the very low handicap you don't need parameter waiting around any of your three woods a fixed head will more than suffice that hybrid is a tough club to hit not to mention that is very wet today the thing's tiny i treated it like a driving iron it did not pay off i didn't hit one good shot with this you'll see me top it you'll see me thin it it just wasn't worth taking out of the bag and as we were playing a two ball better ball match and i wanted to somewhat help greg throughout the round it didn't come out again it's a frankenstein club ben told me it was a frankenstein club don't get me wrong if i put this on a map with range balls and numbers i'm sure you'd get good numbers but personally there's a lot better alternatives that are not only going to give you more distance that aren't even going to be much more money but also a lot more forgiveness forgiveness and confidence behind the ball but it was an interesting hit i don't think i'm done with it yet it's definitely worth testing again but for me today it wasn't going to score any better than any of the other clubs that I had in the bag. The Mizuno Irons. Why I woke up this morning and decided Blades was the club of choice to go out on a winter's morning when it's this cold, wet and windy, I have no idea. They were lovely to take out, as I say, the bottom end of the bag, perfect for a combo set. These are great training irons, but there's probably only 2% of you that are watching this video that I'd recommend putting these in the bag. Now, there is a big difference between summer and winter golf. Summer golf, when you want the balls to stop and you don't want a massive gapping between the array of wedges and hybrids and irons that you have in the bag, then combo sets or blades are a good shout midwinter you want forgiveness you want comfort you want training wheels you want a helping hand that doesn't send shivers down your spine when you knife it thin it or heal it today would have been a much better choice with the m2s cavity backs p790s big burfers i would have wanted anything than these on the majority of my shots when you hit it and you pull it off you're like oh my god how did i get away with that rather than going oh i'm meant to do it you're just looking in disbelief that I even went to the target rather than 20 yards 30 yards short of your intended yardage i love the mizuno irons but they weren't the choice for me today and i'd highly advise if you were to play with them they're more of a training tool than something that you want to take out on the course year on year out the bad boy wedges at the bottom end of the bag 100 pounds that you'd potentially spend on those three wedges as i say get a wedge set don't go from different manufacturers different bounces different grinds i just wouldn't advise it but these are the wedges that i had in the cupboard and i didn't pick the cleveland because it was a cleveland i picked the cleveland because it's a 54 degree loft i practice with 54 degree lofts all the time i highly advise if you're not good or confident with your short game don't keep practicing three four different wedges just grab one get good with that how far does your 10 yard pitch shot, 20 yard pitch shot, 30 yard pitch shot, 40 yard pitch shot with that particular wedge? 
you've got enough loft with 54 degrees to hit high lobs you've got enough less loft in a 54 that it's not going to balloon when you're trying to hit it from 80 yards i highly advise honing one wedge and then spreading it out to the rest and i'm talking to the guys that are struggling to get up and down when out on the golf course you guys that have got better short games than me by all means yes you need multitude of wedges to have different yardages write them down but today was the 54 degree wedge through and through it doesn't matter if it had no grooves one groove dented grooves it's so wet out here you needed a clean strike confidence and that's exactly what the cleveland did for me today and that is why i'd say it was the favorite club that i took out by far last up the radius putter i love the look of this putter i love the story behind this putter i love the place that this putter is manufactured don't swap out your putter yes it's winter greens yes they're bobbly. Yes, they've been sanded, holotined, scored, you name it. But which greens in this country at this time of year haven't? I don't think I put one good roll on a putt today because that radius putter is not my putter. Yes, I can putt with putters around the practice screen and do reviews on hole putts, but when it's under pressure, when it's for the money, when I want to make sure that we're contributing, me and Greg did win, by the way, but it's definitely down to Greg's play rather than mine, but we did win. I came in on a few holes. He just kept taking the thunder away from me. Now, you'll see putts, and I had birdie putts throughout the day. Quite a few of them, surprisingly. They never looked in. I never felt over the ball that I was going to put it on a good line. I had no idea if I was pushing it or pulling it. And that's not down to the putter. That's down to me not using my putter. My putter, my ping answer has been fitted for me. And it's potentially the last time I'll go out and do one of these videos and swap my putter out. If I want to go and play well, if I want to go and play with my mates, if I want to have confidence around my game, it starts with the putter. And as soon as you lose confidence with your putter, it puts pressure on the rest of your game. The radius putter isn't bad and especially for the price i mean i've had it on ebay for like 50 pounds 54 pounds in the past it just hasn't gone it's a good putter it's going to give you that forgiveness it's going to give you the moi it's going to give it on a good roll but how do you know that putter is right for you that comes down to experience that comes down to you trying and testing different ones and finding one that works for you and my ping answer no matter how much money r d marketing they put in the new ones the more expensive ones just isn't going to give me any more than the one i've got because you can't sell me confidence and at the moment i've got confidence in the putter that's in my bag and not with any others so guys it was a pleasure to get out with the boys it was a pleasure to play 18 holes around samford and it was a pleasure to take out a new 500 pound bag i love the idea i love the concept of taking out something and really testing it on the golf course rather on the range or just one club after a time putting in pressure scenarios how does it perform then for me how did i feel it went if you want to see more of these videos then leave this video a like comment down below what kind of variations you want to see next time and whether you like this format as i kind of chopped and changed it trying to keep it as lively entertaining as i possibly can have a great weekend guys see you later